In 19th century Asia, Yang, a member of the Sad Flute clan, achieves his dream of becoming the greatest swordsman by killing the enemy clan's leader, he spares a baby girl, defying his clan and forcing him to flee. In the American west town of Lode, Yang seeks his friend Smiley but learns of his death. He meets carnival gang led by Eight Ball, town drunk Ron, and Lin, Smiley's friend. Lin teaches Yang laundry and they name the baby April. Yang embraces a new life, discovering joys in opera. Lin wants to learn more about swords in Yang's clan, but he hesitates. Meanwhile, Saddest Flute and his army arrive in America after killing their ship's crew. Yang learns that Lin survived an attack by a corrupt colonel who killed her family. She seeks revenge and gives Yang a pendant. Yang shows Lin his sword but it's welded, symbolizing his unwillingness to fight. In a flashback, Yang receives a puppy from his master. The colonel returns to the town to terrorize the people, sporting a frightening mask to hide the grotesque scar from the hot grease. The colonel tortures a clown by having his men shoot at a bucket of water on the clown's head, and is about to shoot a glass of whiskey himself when Ron drinks it and is dragged through the town with a whip around his neck being pulled by a horse. The colonel then inspects a lineup of women for their teeth, and chooses a Hispanic woman whose husband begs for mercy. The colonel releases the woman to her husband, to only shoot them down simultaneously with a single bullet. Eight Ball and the other carnival members tie Lin up in a cellar for her own safety and Yang removes her blades, but she manages to free herself with a knife hidden in her boot. The colonel has the Hispanic woman's daughters clean to be abused, but Lin, disguised as a prostitute, offers herself instead. She initially fools the colonel before he reveals he remembers who she is. His men then rush in to hold Lin down on the bed, back in the laundry. The carnival members run in looking for Lin, and Yang realizes where she is. He grabs an iron and shatters the seal on his sword to free it. Far away, saddest flute jerks up from meditation, sensing the seal break. Just as Lin is about to be abused, Yang bursts in through the window and expertly slays everyone in the room except the colonel. As Yang turns to kill him, Lin intercedes, saying that she will do it, but the colonel grabs her and leaps out the window, using her to break his fall before attempting to flee on horse. But Lin is able to deliver an expert knife throw to his back. The townsfolk pull off the mask to reveal a decoy instead, and are terrified that the colonel will return to kill them. Yang is about to leave town before the sad flutes come for him, but the townsfolk implore him to stay and help. The people are worried they don't have the means to defend themselves. But Eight Ball has Ron's secret stash of guns and explosives unburied. Ron is shown to be an expert marksman, shooting a bowling pin down amidst his best liquor from hundreds of feet away. Yang asks Ron why he stopped shooting and Ron explains that he was once an outlaw, using his great skill to rob banks and trains. His criminal career ended when the woman he loved was shot during a gunfight, and he vowed to never pick up a gun again. Ron advises Yang that the best thing he can do is stay far away from those he cares about. The day before battle, Lin asks to leave with Yang. Later that night, Yang comes to Lin's house and gives her his twin short swords. During the assault on the town, Ron strategically detonates hidden explosives while Yang eliminates many of the outlaws. The carnival members and Yang ambush the outlaws at the Ferris wheel, causing a deadly explosion. The survivors give chase, but the sad flutes arrive to confront them. Yang instructs Lin to flee with April. Yang fights his way to the laundry shop, where he and Lin join forces. They encounter the dying Eight Ball, who failed to protect April from the colonel. The colonel is seen taking April into a building. Yang relentlessly pursues the colonel, cutting through the outlaws in his path. He reaches the room where the colonel holds April at gunpoint. Yang intervenes, saving April and allowing Lin to engage in a fierce battle with the colonel, ultimately impaling him. Afterward, Saddest Flute confronts Yang, revealing that April is their enemy and questioning if Yang would tell her he killed her parents. They engage in a deadly duel. With flashbacks showing their history, Yang emerges victorious, killing Saddest Flute. Lin tries to give Yang April but he refuses, making the baby laugh before leaving. Yang continues his solitary journey, distancing himself from loved ones. In a snowy setting, Yang, disguised, eliminates an attacker. He then sets his shack on fire, revealing his hidden sword and taking April's pacifier. Clan warriors emerge, and Yang readies his sword as the scene fades. 